All right, hello there. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Arangelo. Um, I made a couple of pretty shitty Let's Play videos a while ago. Uh, and I realized they were pretty shitty, so I stopped making those. So, uh, I got a Vive, and I've been playing around with it. And over the last couple of days, I've been messing around, you know, experimenting with Unity and stuff like that. I've never really used Unity before. never really done a lot of game development before, but, you know, I kind of just experimented with it. Messed around a little bit, and I've been working on a card game that is, as of yet, unnamed, that I think would be really cool in VR. Um, so I don't have a lot to show, but what I do have to show so far is kind of a concept, more or less. So, let me go ahead and start the game here. Alright. As you can see, I don't have anything modeled. There's nothing special. Um, this is my hand. It's a big cube. Probably be replaced with something a little bit cleaner in the future, but for now, this is what it is. And these are your cards. Right now, they're just generic playing cards, but in the future, hopefully, those will be updated to be something a lot cooler. So, for right now, these are just the cards in your hand, and hopefully, once I get it all done, they'll have stats and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But when you come over and you pick up a card, you get the card and you get. A little character. In this case, it's a little robot guy. You have his health right there. Um, you can look all around him. You can see he's got a little bit of animation on him. This is the only animation I have set up right now. Nothing else works. These guys float. That's just their idle animation. So, you can see him. If I put him back, see he's over there. Grab this guy. This guy's a little knight. And all of these knights are different. That's the same one I grabbed earlier. There's that guy. There's this one. Nope. That one? Yeah, that's the other one. So, they all have different HPs and stuff, uh, but if I have him, and then I have the table in front of me, here are the enemies, obviously, and I have these little spots right here set up, so you can actually take a card and you can put it in a slot and then it turns around the health, you can still see everything. Um, right now their health is just set to something crazy, and right now I just have it set up to be a button press, but eventually it'll be, you know, something actually. They'll come out, they'll move over, face him, and then attack, and then the health goes down, um, and then if I press another button, turns around, slides back, turns again, goes in, spins around, and then it's done. So that's all I have set up right now. Um, I do actually have it so he can attack him as well, but I don't have it set up to work at the moment. Uh, it's the same thing, just him going that way instead of that guy coming this way. Um, and right now I also have the card set up, so you can only have five cards in your hand. And when you press the grip button, they'll condense into one kind of deck of cards instead of having all your cards laid out like this. And I think I'll do something different with that in the future. Maybe once, I, once you condense it, you'll have another hand here, whatever. But for now, you can just put cards in. Make them into a deck, pull them out, still gets a deck. There's some glitches with, you know, highlighting and stuff. Like, right now, that probably shouldn't highlight, because if I pull the trigger, nothing happens. You can also pull cards out when they're like this. All kinds of stuff. But for right now, just a base concept kind of laid down. And I'm going to continue working on it. Um, if you guys want to see something in particular, or have suggestions about anything, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.